Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about our activated carbon absorber wall. There's plenty of information on our website about it, but I want to walk you through it because this is for people that are building a new room and they're going to frame it out with, with wood. That's what we always use. And our standard method is studs, obviously 16 inches on center in the United States. And we're going to use a 2 inch by 12 inch stud to frame our room all the way around the four walls and the ceiling because all must be treated. So we're going to build our technology in between the studs. Okay, how do we do it? Well, we're going to turn each stud space into a diaphragmatic absorber. I won't go into the diaphragmatic absorption process, but if you think about a stud space with two studs, those are the sides of the cabinet. The back material, whatever that is, is the rear of the cabinet, and then we put the face on it. So we're really building individual cabinets or units within our wall. Now what's the advantage of that? Well, the advantage of it is, is each stud space that's 14 and a half inches wide, we can tune to manage that frequency and strength of that energy within that part of the room. Because when you pressure map a room, you realize that 40 cycles is a, pre is a problem here, 60 cycles is a problem here, 80 cycles is a problem here, and all of that changes in the room depending on usage, size, and volume. So by creating a wall within the room that wraps the room all the way around and the ceiling, we can actually pressure map, figure out where the frequencies of issue are, and tune that particular area within the room to the problems that are in the room. And we don't need freestanding units sitting around taking up a lot of space, okay? So how do we tune? We tune by the depth, how much carbon we put in it, and how thick we make the front wall when we enclose the stud space. So all of these variables, and you can look up the process of diaphragmatic absorption, density, depth of cavity, internal fill material, all contribute to the performance in that specific area within the room. So the bottom line here is we have tuning capabilities within our structure. What a great thing. So we don't have a bunch of freestanding units sitting around taking up space because it's real estate uh, uh, valuable. We did a little cost analysis the other day on a project in the guy wanted a, a breakdown in cost between building it in, framing the room out and building it in, versus the same amount of space with freestanding units, and it was about three to one, meaning that the freestanding units would cost three times what you could do with inside the walls. A lot of us don't have that option. We don't have money. We don't have space to build a new room. But this process is for those that have the ability to build it and what I'm saying to you, we can cut costs by 60% and get better performance and have a larger room. So this is definitely the way to go if you're building a room. So we have our two technologies. We have our ACDA10, which is our broadband from 30 to 400. And then we have the frequency specific ACDA12, which is the 30 to 50 cycle range. So we have two tools and all kinds of ranges in between those that we can control by varying the depth of the cavity, the thickness of the carbon filter, and the density of the front wall that we put on the, each stud space or each unit. So it places the low frequency technology in the places in the room where it's the greatest because the pressure is always trying to get out of the room. It's always trying to be free. It's always trying to be, escape. So when it impacts it's created by a source, whether it's an instrument, a speaker, what doesn't matter what the source is, it moves out against the walls. And then that pressure area against the walls is the greatest. And it's greatest in certain areas at different frequencies and different strengths. So by having a 14 and a half inch tunable area every, four, every two inches, so to speak, because that's the thickness of a stud. So 14 and a half, two. 14 and a half, two, 14 and a half, two, all the way across the wall surface, we have the ability to really tune this room so it's nice and flat. We can get our rooms down to one dB across the board from 30 cycles. And if you doubt that, come to our Sacred Ground Studios in Los Angeles, California, and I'll prove it to you. Because that's what we did in that studio. And we didn't build that room. That was an existing room. 
So you can get an idea of how powerful our technology is. Um, so two needs to, another thing we can do is on the face of each stud space, we can put our foam technology and we can stretch fabric over it. So you can get a nice balance of absorption in those walls. You can get low frequency, middle frequency, and high frequency absorption tunable throughout the whole surface of the room and the ceiling. So our activated carbon absorber wall is a great way if you're building a project to save money and get a room with a really nice tight uh, frequency response in the low end. Thank you. Thank you for watching our videos. We really appreciate your support. And if you could give us a thumbs up for our Facebook page, that would really be helpful to us. Our room form uh, gives us all the information about your room, length, width, height, usage, and we need you to fill that out before you send it in. Those of you that just found us on the internet and are under a time crunch, you can go to the contact section of our website and there's a book now button so you can book an appointment with us, but make sure I have your uh, room form to go on with it. The ebook series that we have is free. Please subscribe to that. There's exclusive videos in there so you can get a, an idea of uh, you, your particular situation possibly with the videos. And then our forum. We have a forum on our website. There's a lot of forums out there on the internet. Our forum will, will all actually answer your questions and, and comments, so you'll be dealing directly with me through our forum. So once again, thank you for your support.